How's it going, Creepers? My name is Jay Jackson, and welcome back to another episode of Corona Craft. In this episode, uh, basically what we're going to end up doing, we're going to dabble in the equivalent exchange and probably a little bit into Tinker Tinker's Construct. Uh, not too much, but we set it up a little bit and uh, get that rolling. And then on top of that, um, I wanted to showcase... I have no idea what there's lag. There's lag. Lag. All right, there we go. Uh, so, I wanted to uh, showcase something a little bit there. Now, just to give you a heads up, I did actually um, almost break my pickaxe, so I used up all my levels that I had um, and repaired it with a diamond. <laughs> I need to make a new one soon um, because this is almost dead. Yeah. Um, but I did put the backpack on. Uh, it's just a uh, press B and it'll uh, bring this up. Now you'll notice I have a few new items available to me. Uh, I have the Carpenter's Chisel, the Carpenter's Hammer, and the Obsidian Chisel. Um, between episodes, I did some minor reworking of downstairs. Uh, I'm thinking people are going to like that because it's actually kind of nice, uh, neat. Um, now, that being said, I also got some buckets because of the fact that uh, there is a lava pool over that direction there. Um, that I had to take some lava from, and you'll see why in a second. And, uh, basically I just put the rest of my stuff in here. I'm going to keep this stuff out because I do need it. Um, but you'll see why I have all of these items here in a second. Now, that being said, we are going to dabble into the Tears Construct afterwards, but we're going to look into the Equivalent Exchange Program, or the Equivalent Exchange, uh, mod first. So we'll, we'll go ahead and do that as well. But first and foremost, I'm going to showcase this area here. One, two, three... Oh, it looks completely different. Whoa, 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 what the fuck did you do? So, this I'm going to explain later, actually, because I'm not going to not gonna let people know about that yet. Um, this is where the Tinker's Construct is going to go, mainly because of the fact that, um, yeah, actually, I can just do, uh, oh, there. There we go. Oh, that almost killed me. Balls, I think. I don't know. So, this entire room is a 9 by 9 right now by 14. Um, mainly because of the fact that I, uh, that I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be filling in the walls, of course, with the Tinker's Construct blocks, so the sear bricks or whatever. So it's gonna be 7 by 7 by 12. Um, because that's, you can only go 9 out, and I don't want to really go 9 out, I... I was already too... F I, I was like halfway through and I was like, wait, I should make this too bigger. Shit. Um, I hear you. Are you coming back to haunt me? No! Um, but yeah, I'm going to fill that up and uh, close it off here. And this is where the window for the uh, the actual tier construct is going to be. Um, because of the fact that I... Uh, I just want to keep that window open, and I'll just close this off, and then it'll be that window, and then the actual uh, oars and shit will be on the other side of the wall, and I won't have to worry about that. That's the secret project, and this is where the teleport room is going to be going, but before I do the teleport room, I'm going to actually make the Tinker's Construct, because what I want to do is uh, make the hammers, because um, apparently, from what I understand, the hammers are actually similar to that of the uh, pickaxes, but they do a 3 by 3 grid like this. So if you, like, knock this out, it'll do that entire that entire section. So I'm thinking about doing that instead of just the mining. Uh, but uh, I need the Tinker's Construct to be set up first. Uh, that's the secret project. And now to the piece de resistance here. This is where the, um, the equivalent exchange is going to be. Now, you got the fancy doors, because that's what was made the carpenter's blocks, uh, which was the... Use of, use of this, um, did the little implement with the chisel and then the style with the hammer. And that's just obsidian layered over the carpenter's blocks itself. Hopefully that doesn't burn because that's technically still wood, but it's also obsidian. And here we go. Um, this is why I needed the buckets because, I mean, obviously I can fill out everything because there's empty areas. There's the Tinker's Construct area. And I want to make it look like a little cave because the fact is is that the um, 
basically, I wanted to make it look like a little cave because I wanted to make it look a little demonic, in a way. I didn't fill out the top of it because I didn't. I'm, I want I want to at least put something like colored glowstone or something like, you know, something like that there. Um, but the thing is, I need glowstone for that, and I don't have the uh, glowstone right now. So, yeah. Um, this is where the table's gonna go, and I'm gonna put the Eludo and all that over here. But before I can put them all like like here and here and here, uh, I do need to actually um, I do need to craft the blocks. So first and foremost, I'm just gonna close that there. Health. What the hell? Yep. That happened. Um, I can totally be one shot right now if I really, really wanted to. And yet, I continue to fight. <laughs> Alright, so there we go. No more of those sounds. Uh, but yeah, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna start creating the items from the uh, uh, the equivalent exchange. So oh, where shit equivalent? There we go. All right. So first and foremost, we need to make this, which is glass. I did use up a ton of glass when I was making the uh, the room downstairs. I'll put you down there, and I'm also gonna put you. Here, there we go. So I need glass. I have seven here, and I think I still have some in the uh, furnace there from when I resmelted. Uh, so seven glass. There's one. Uh, calcinator, iron, and stone. I have tons of stone because I had to make a. Uh... Okay, so that I had to make the uh, the items. So there's that. Make oh, wrong one. There we go. And there we go. So we got that. Put this away. I think I need the iron still, actually. Um, the research station, which is a silver... Oh, I need the stone still. Fuck. Uh, do that here. And I also need slab. Oh, yeah, a cobblestone slab or a... No, wooden slab, actually. Fuck. Uh, yeah, okay, slab. There we go. See, this is really easy to make, but the actual, um, like the actual, I like when you actually have to summon the items, uh, I didn't make that right, did I? Oh, I'm missing one. Um, when you have to actually, like, summon the items or, you know, spawn the items, or not spawn the items in, but, uh, transmute the items, it's really fucking costly. Um, a little, oh my lord, that's a lot of iron. Not like I don't have it, but it's still a lot of iron. Alright, there we go. And... I think that's going to be it. I know I have to make that as well, but... I have to make the ash first and shit, so... Uh, what I'm going to end up doing is, I'm going to put... There's a lot of lag, and it's not even... Like, this is a, a single-player world, so I have no idea. Um... Do I, where's my dirt? I'm going to take the dirt and I'm going to burn it with uh, uh, this. One, two, three, four, there we go. Or three, whatever. Alright. Why don't I only have a certain amount of hearts? Also, why do I have regeneration? Huh. Weird. Uh, so, put them over here. Um, can I... <gasps> nope. Alright, so, first and foremost, let's put the, uh, calcinator... Let's put the calcinator right here. Let's put the, uh... Oh, wait, I already have it in there. 
research station there and the little base plus the glass on top. There we go. Uh, so first and foremost, I need to burn some of this. I don't need a lot of ash. I only need a certain amount, so I'm gonna actually take some of this out. There we go. Uh, so there's that. I'm gonna burn those, and then on top of that, uh, I'm gonna need a book. So let me go back up here. Why can't I fly? Wow! Why can't I fly? Oh, it's oh, that's why. I still can't, okay, there we go. I was like, what the hell, why can't I fly? Um, drop these off, because I need them. And, uh, now I need a book. Actually, I'm going to get two books. And how much, how, what do I need for, I need minium dust, which is 8,000, which I think is actually a, the equivalent of a diamond? So I'm actually going to grab 10 of these. I don't really use the di or emeralds anyways. I use the diamonds more. Um, 10 of these. And 10 of these, I think. Or maybe I should do gold and iron, yeah. So there we go. Ten of those, and I need the iron. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There we go. So this is gonna take a bit because of the fact that I will need um, two per, which means I need one more. You know, I'll just take a full stack for it. Why not? And we'll take a full stack there as well. So we'll do that. Put this down here. Close my garage door. Here in my garage. Okay, I don't need any more of that. Fuck it. Um, I'm going to start it with this. And then I'm also going to put some over here as well. Just because so, I'm going to need it. And that's going to take some time. When this is all done, then I will, uh, I will sign back in. And uh, we'll show you the outcome of it. Alright, so while we're waiting, I am just uh, thought I'd show this off. So basically, in order to make the ash-infused ash stone that we're going to have here, um, I'll just do that. Look at all that lava. It could be just a shame if I jumped in. <laughs> no, not really. Um, basically, in order to make the ash-infused stone, you just inc you combine or you smelt out the stone, like regular stone, and uh, ash, and it'll create the ash-infused stone. Um, now this is almost done here. Now if there's a way that, like, I can add a, another item in there so I didn't have to fucking wait, then I would. But I can't. So, yeah. Do that here, throw that in there. And five here. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna start placing this down here. Oh, forgot about the uh, backpack mod there. Okay. Keeps going back in my inventory. There we go. Okay, so while that's all cooking up and that's all cooking up, I'm just going to place this one as well. Oh, you're not a block. Go away. Um, while we're doing that, I'm actually going to go ahead and grab some bones and some clay if I have it. Um, I know I have bones, but do I have clay? Like, any form of the clay. Could have sworn I had a bunch of clay. It was in another series. I think it might have been in another series. Okay, I guess we're going to be on a uh, hunt for clay because of the fact that I don't have any. That's odd. I could have sworn I went out and got a bunch of clay, though. Ah, I did. I fucking knew it. Um... We'll only use four because we only need, f yeah, we only need four, is it four? Because basically we're making chalk, yeah, it's four. Um, 
So there's that, and basically in order to make the chalk, you would do four here, and then the rest in bone meal, and they have chalk, and you're like, how do, how do I do this? But it, it's, it's not chalk, it's a block. You basically place it down, you break it, and boom, you got chalk, because that's how chalk is made. Now, that being said, I'm going to put... Ironic that these don't have an exchange value being, you know, what they are from the same mod. So, we'll go ahead and put this over here and uh, grab the last two pieces that we need. And in order for us to make the actual table itself, like the equivalent table, uh, you that's too, uh, too small, so if you do Shift-V... Or the control V. Control V. Uh, and you place that down. And you right click on it. Or oh, shift right click. And there you go. That's all completed. Uh, I have the min uh, this set up here. Uh, I have the Azure, the Verdant. Uh, this should give me the, gr the gray one. I think. Th should. Yeah, gray one. Uh, it's ash. Oh. Oh, I see. <laughs> um, yeah, I didn't know that. Uh, whoops. My bad. Um, in that case, I'm not even going to bother at that point. I'll just do the emeralds, and I should get the red one as well. And we'll create the booklets, which are very simple. You just uh, combine the, or the minium dust with the book itself. And then I'm also going to create this. It's called the chemical chemical bag. I have freaking bags at the S, but I need a piece of wool for that. So I'm going to go grab the wool there. Uh, the side of my room looks really dark. What the hell? Oh, right, because I... Yeah, I remember now. Ugh, that stupid fucking... I vein mined it by accident. Um... So we'll do that. We'll put the rest of this stone in here and the here because I just fucking don't care anymore. Um, we'll need that and we'll need a piece of wool. Just a single piece of wool will do. Um, and then we're almost done here. And there we go. Come on, hurry up. Well, while that does that, I'm going to create the two booklets that I need. The uh, reason I'm creating two is because of the fact that one can actually go here and here. Um, and they'll be linked up, so whatever you put into here will automatically be noticed on here. So, grab that. And we'll, uh, we'll assign that to us, because it's not belonging to us yet. And now it is. And we'll put that in here, and for now we'll... Uh, I'm going to put... Actually, I'm going to put one of each in there. Yeah, I'm going to put one of each in there, and I'm also going to grab uh, an, uh, one more emerald here. Actually, two more emeralds. I'm going to grab a diamond, a piece of lapis, and that. I'm not going to learn all this stuff on camera, but I do want to just show you how it works. Um, and whatever I want to learn, I can just throw in here. Uh, first, I'm going to do the emeralds, and I'm also going to throw in another piece of that. Alright, so basically that's how it works. You just throw your item in that you want to learn. Uh, it's fairly simple. And here's the second booklet. I'm just going to learn that here. It, it, that just shows how much uh, or what you've learned. Um, and then you can throw that in here. And basically, I'll, uh, I'll get some like iron or something to fill that up in. Um, but... What we're going to do now is just the chemical bag, which will be just the 8 minium, add the wool, and it'll give you the chemical bag. And I'm going to throw another piece of that in there. I'll show you how it works in a second here, though. So there's the chemical bag. Not really too much. It's basically just a, an item bag. That's all it is, honestly. Um, so, just waiting for that to process. There we go. One of those, and then I'll even do the bone meal. So I'll do these four items, and then we'll cut that off uh, for now. 
Um, bone meal is always good to have. I already have bone meal. I didn't know that. Uh, so we'll do that, and I'm actually going to grab some items that have a good value. Let's see. What do I have that I can... Oh, wow. Holy shit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, because I'm not going to use these, so... I didn't think this had a an item value, so I'm going to put them all in here. And basically, this is what it is. It's basically, you put the items that you want to sacrifice in terms of, like, transmutation. And you, um... It, basically, each item has its own specific value. This one has 16,000, um, but the stack has 1 million. So I now have 8.3 million energy value, and I could just be like, oh, I want, like, 5 emeralds. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Yeah. And it'll take from that value to transmute into this. Um, however, if I wanted, like, diamonds, I have to put the diamond in first. Um, and that'll take a second to load up, but I'll just... Once in, in like two or three seconds. There, see diamond. So if I wanted a diamond, I'd be like, oh, and I got a diamond. Uh, same with a redstone. Yeah, okay, redstone. Same thing. And all of the dusts are in there too. So the ash, azure, minium, and the verdant. Those are all in there already, and it's all learned. And then you would just basically you would just take the item value from this, and then sacrifice it to make the item there. Um, same goes for a diamond. I think a diamond makes about eight thousand cobblestone. Uh, same with dirt. Yeah, things like that. So that's how that works. Um, I find it really fucking useful, like, especially with you know the way things are set up right now. Because uh, this will make things a lot easier in the long run for me. Um, like, if I need bone meal or something, then I will make the bone meal and, you know, work on that. Um, now, that being said, I didn't think it would take that long because uh, I didn't think it would take that long to actually do all this. Uh, so, for now, I'm not going to actually do the the um, Tinker's I uh, side of things. However, I will collect some resources to make the Tinker's item set. But there we have it. We uh, officially got the... Uh, equivalent exchange up and running. We might learn some things between episodes. Uh, I don't know. I don't know yet. Uh, we'll see. But uh, I thank you so much, guys, for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. And I will see you guys in the next. Peace.